Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and we're on the Paladin today. We're starting off in the Lion's Pride Inn. And I think the last quest that we have to do here in Albion Forest is to head out to the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch and find the Collector and get his ring. And so that's the very first thing we're going to do is just head all the way to the east. I'm going to go off road a bit because we did pick up our mining skill. So we're going to be looking for copper nodes. Basically anywhere on the minimap you see little ridge lines that indicate hills or mountains. That's a good place to look for for nodes to mine. Some zones are going to have more minerals than others. Just like some zones we found on other characters have more herbs than other zones. Like, see, that didn't take long of just following the ridge line until we found a copper vein. Although we are going to aggro this bandit first. And we weren't really prepared for a fight there. And also keep in mind, we're not doing a lot of damage right now because we are skilling up our one-handed mace. But we're gonna have to get this done sooner or later. And yeah, right now, two-handed maces and one-handed maces are the only weapon skills we have. We can learn swords in Stormwind, and I should have done that already. We haven't had many swords that we could actually equip. So it's probably okay. Failed attempt. I love the failed attempts at low levels. Oh, I forgot that I, apparently the ore only stacks up to 10, and I don't think that's true. In retail, I'm fairly certain that like most things it stacks up to 20. Very interesting. Ooh, look at respawn. Very interesting that it only stacks up to 10. That's going to require that we get some more bag space. Sometimes I found in classic, I don't know if it's just a bug, but these will respawn uh, pretty quickly. At least like a hit of them. Unless it's been just me missing that last hit, which is entirely possible. We should probably take some of these low-level boars and continue to level up our one-handed base skill. So that maybe by the time we fight anything worth a damn, we'll be able to hit them. Melee attacks being 40% faster is pretty good with a one-hander, I guess. Especially if we're just trying to level up our weapon skills, swinging more means that we are going to get more level ups. The shield is helping too. Because we're simply just not taking as much damage now that we have a shield equipped.
And we're eventually going to have to do the same thing as soon as we get a one-handed sword and a two-handed sword. Paladins cannot use axes. So I think all we have to worry about are swords and maces. Which is fine with me. On the warrior we could use anything. So it kind of took some effort to keep everything skilled up. This will be less so the case on the paladin. That's pretty good, 50 out of 60. Now there was a house over here at, there it is. I believe the collector is inside of this house. There were three, three people in there, however. So we'll see if all of our paladin tricks allow us to deal with three guys at a time. At least one of them is going to be a caster, so we're probably just going to want to either run in or kite them around the outside of the building. I'm fine with running in because we're going to have to clear the outside of the building and I don't want to deal with the respawns. Yeah, Morgan the Collector was right inside. We could just barely see his V-Bar through the, through the wall. Speaking of V-Bars, I kind of decided that I didn't really want these on. Uh, Scroll of Protection, I really wish we could just use without having to dump something. Alright, that should help us a little bit. Alright, here comes the fun part. Level 10. Level 9. Level 11, level 8. So, let's just take out the caster first. Here we go. She resisted our stun. I cannot fucking believe it. That went all kinds of wrong basically immediately. The first thing that happened is that she resisted our stun, which would have stopped her from casting, which would have been amazing. The second thing that happened was that she kind of stunned us, or somebody stunned us. No, we want to attack, we want to attack. I'm not certain what we can do to survive this. We could- Oh shit! Come on. Come on. There we go. 
Oh no. That was way too close. But we managed to do it. Even after everything kind of went wrong right away. Okay. Well, nothing in there worth anything either. I think that we just need the hearth. I don't think we need anything else over here. Let's just get ourselves back to Goldshire and well, maybe we should check out our trainer as well. See if he has anything new for us. And we're kind of low on milk. How are you? Firstly, we need to sell everything we don't need. Alright, that should be good to replenish our stocks. Well met. You found him? Well done. He won't be collecting from the Elwian mines again. And this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring from the old stonemasons guild in Stormwind. Why would a lowly thief have an artisan guild ring? And why are the Defias Thieves collecting money from our mines? Difficult questions. I hope one day we'll have the answers. Let's take the glove upgrade. Be careful. Yeah, those are a little cooler. They actually look like chain. No fingers though. And guys, the, the only thing we really have to do is to head out to Sentinel Hill, which is going to be all the way over in Westfall. I don't know how confident I am in our level. I almost feel like possibly we missed something. King's honor, friend. He has a quest for us, but we're not high enough level for it yet. Which is a little strange to me. For the Alliance. And... I don't know. I guess all we can do is head into Westfall and see what level the quests are there. My perpetual worry in Classic is getting behind early because it's something that is easy to do. And there just is no resolution for having to zone hop to keep yourself at the right level for the quest that you're doing. So we'll see, we'll see what the quests are like over in Westfall. Nothing wrong with a little mining on the way. I always, maybe I'm just forgetting that I need to hit these multiple times. Because in Retail World of Warcraft, you don't have to do that. It makes you feel like you're getting a lot more, but you're still only getting three or four per node. It just takes you longer to do it. Which is realistic.
we don't really need to run through the pack of 20 wolves. We can probably avoid that. I just know that we're not going to find any mining nodes if we stay on the road all the time. Next time we find ourselves at a forge, we're going to have to smelt some of this copper down into bars. And possibly even do some blacksmithing. Depending on if there is a trade vendor nearby. Speaking of leveling though, and where we're at in the leveling curve, we should probably think about spending our next point. I just, I want to grab everything we can out of the Blessing of Might. Let's just focus on this until we have five points in it, and then we can think about other things. I still don't really know what I would do on the Paladin. In Classic, I think that the Paladin probably makes an okay low-level tank for like five-man groups. At endgame, I'm positive that all they can do is spam heals. Which is not very interesting, but what do we have here? A couple of farmers, the Fur Bowl, Furl Brow, Furl Brow family. Good day to you. The Forgotten Heirloom. It was horrible. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's Pa gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. Retrieve Farmer Furlbrow's pocket watch from his wardrobe. Have a good one. Okay. How are you? And I'm assuming his wife, Verna. Westfall Stew and poor old Blanche. I never thought the day would come when I leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furbrow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall Stew. Please take it to Salma Seldian over on the farm yonder. The Seldian's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. So she wants to share her recipe as they're heading out of town. Yeah, we can. We're totally gonna help you with that. We're See just, you, you know, a hero. Hello. And poor old Blanche, which I am pretty sure is their horse. Poor old Blanche, such a tired beast after all the hey work there. we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting for the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a full handful of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all the farms in Westful if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. A four slot bag? Basically useless, but we'd probably take it. We're Safe desperate. Travels. All right, so let's head right over to the farmhouse, I guess. Well, this is the Jensen's stead. We don't need anything here, but we might as well check it out. It looks like everyone has fled here. Unfortunately, they seem to have had quite an alchemy shop set up before they had to leave. Alright, level 10 coyote. So right away, at least the creatures aren't out level. We'll see how long that keeps up. Furlbrow's pumpkin patch. That's what we needed to find. And in the house, in the wardrobe, 
we're gonna find an old pocket watch. I'm going to avoid fighting these level 15 people. Well, you see, now this is what's kind of frightening. Level 15. Level 15. That's not good. We're level 11. I don't know. Holy crap. I'd like to keep one of them. But I'm not able to drop the other one. Well, this is going to be extremely annoying if this is uh, what life is going to be like in Westfall. It makes me wonder where the heck else we could go and what else we could do. Not really anything. We could head, we could just head down to Sentinel Hill and we could hope that the quests down there are a little bit more our level. It kind of gets annoying after a little bit when you run into situations like that where the quest seems to be at your level but then you get there and the mobs are four levels higher than you and they pull in multiple groups. Pretty decent run. This must be the other farm, maybe where we turn in the recipe for Verna. So maybe we could carve a path south if we can't get into this house. I'm assuming this house is where the pocket watch is going to be, but we're not getting in there with all those guys in there. Not at level 11, we're not. Maybe we come back when we're level 14 or 15, I don't know. Alright, and let's try not to respawn around a bunch of enemies. Maybe if we get near some of these people up here, we can get a little bit of assistance. Like, I could take this guy off of you. I still probably could have healed up for all that. Yeah, this is just... Not great. Oh, he's healing us at least. Makes me feel slightly better. I don't feel good about this endeavor at all. Uh, simply because there's no way we can do this on our own. And that's incredibly annoying to me. Even this one guy would have been too much for us to handle. Alright. I guess we will benefit from the help of our level 11 priest friend who seemed able to handle them both just fine where we kind of just fell flat. It's okay. Let's take the pocket watch. And let's just get back to the road. It does feel like we're here a little bit too early. And if you guys know, let me know if we missed any quest in Elbian Forest. Or if the lack of rest experience just really set us back that far. Because it just seems like we should be at least level 12 or 13 to even be stepping foot in here. And unless possibly the quest down at Sentinel Hill 
are going to be a little bit easier. And I doubt that's going to be the case. For now, let's go ahead and just turn in this one quest we've managed to do. How are you? My watch, thank you so much. We are but poor farmers and we have lost our land, but please accept this as reward. Uh, bread and milk. See you around. Yeah, that actually helps more than you know. All right, let's head south here. Staying mainly on the road. These guys are only level nine. It's just so strange. You go from level nine mobs and then a hundred yards past that there's level 15 mobs. So kind of sending mixed signals to us Westfall. A beautiful zone. I like how it looks. Let's just get this map revealed. This might be the house where we need to, t yeah, the Saldeans farm. We need to turn in the recipe here and we're probably going to have to pick up a quest or two. Yeah. First is first. We're here to see your wife, sir. Need help? I'm going to miss that Verna Ferbro so much. I don't suppose you happened to see her on your... Oh, I did. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her in Westfall, but between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. Okay, we need a couple of quests here. Gortusk liver pie. The onions are peeled, the garlic is minced, the rosemary is crushed, the crust has been baked, the dill weed is chopped, the gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight gore tusk livers. Be careful. Oh, we're gonna kill more boars. And Westfall stew. Three stringy vulture meat, three gore tusk snouts, three murloc eyes, three okra. So we'll get these all over the zone. Have a good one. And then Farmer Seldian has something for us as well. Need help? The killing fields. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though, but it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. Kill 20 of these guys. Go with honor, friend. Now these ones are level 15. However, we encountered ones somewhere else that were level 9. Yeah, it marks it as an orange quest. But here's level 9 and 10 ones we could fight. So, that's a thing. Not having any of our buffs on is not useful. I do realize this. Well, I think this is probably going to be a great time for us to take a little bit of a break. When we come back, we'll probably just fight these guys to knock out this quest up here. And then we could head south to west to the the garrison down there sentinel hill and while we're in the fields we need to be looking for oats so let's leave off here let me know what you guys think of the series so far any comments or suggestions on quests that we might have missed or things to do are always welcome and as always i really appreciate the support thanks for being here take care and we'll see you again soon